Hey everybody, I am just coming on really quickly to share my setup. I get asked all the time what camera I use, what lights do I use, all that sort of thing. So I am here just to give you guys a little overview. Uh, before I get started, all of the things that I will be talking about will be listed in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you would like, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below. I love reading your comments. And let's get started. All right, so first off, I'm going to start with the lights. And for the longest time, I had these on the stands and I would have to move them back and forth. I'd have to break them down. Uh, it, and then when we moved, I knew that I wanted them uh, mounted on my ceiling because I believe uh, Heather's Crafty Life, that's where I saw, she uh, had mounted hers on her ceiling. So I um, loved how that looked and I like the idea of them just being out of the way. I don't have to you know, move them or worry about putting them away or anything. They're just there. And then for whatever reason, if I know I'm not going to be filming for a while, I can always uh, take them down. All right, so the lights themselves I got on Amazon. And again, all of the links will be listed in the description box down below. And they were about $60, I think, for the two lights. And uh, let's see. So what my husband did was he took some of these plates. Maybe you guys can see, hopefully. These plates up here. They were used to be on a desk from Ikea and we just kind of had them laying around and what he did was cut the stands for the lights, found some screws that fit in the, uh, the stand and also the plate and mounted the plate on top or on the ceiling and that's pretty much it. I mean it's pretty simple. Uh, we could have went with a more expensive, you know, setup, but it works, <laughs> and um, I didn't really want to spend the money because I didn't know for sure if I was going to like them. So that is the lights. So I have two of those. I'm just going to come back a little bit. And if I forget anything, just leave me a comment down below and I will try to answer it as best I can. Um, I filmed this earlier today and it, I honestly took about 90 minutes filming, trying to figure out and remember everything. And then I went to the computer and the uh, video was so dark because of the lighting from my window. So now it's late, uh, now that all my kids are in bed and it's quiet, so that's why I'm filming it now and my voice is a little raspy because I'm tired. Um, all right, next is going to be the mount for the camera. So um, let me see if I can get this. There we go. Yeah, see, before during the day, the light from the window was just washing everything out and... Um, or it would just make it way too dark. So I am going to bump up the light just a little bit. All right, so this mount is a Manfrotto mount, and I actually was told that this part here that's mounted to the wall is actually separate. I don't know where we got it, but my husband said we had it laying around and it works perfectly. Um, I will have something that you can use listed in the description box, uh, but if you have something to um, mount on your wall like that, then it'll work out just fine. So this is, like I said, a Manfrotto mount, and I absolutely love it. As you could see, right now I have my uh, webcam on here. And I'm sorry for my voice, I'm like really tired, but I really wanna get this done for you guys because I always get questions, so I wanna get it done. Um, so I have my webcam right here. That's actually not how I have my webcam. So I actually flip my webcam, and I'll go over my webcam in just a second. Um, but that's how I normally film, or when I do my lives, that's how the webcam is. Um, but back to the, um, the mount here. Uh, you can have another arm coming out here, and... 
and then you can also mount something here. It's very nice. It's very easy to use. You can kind of swivel it back and forth, up and down if you need to, um, whatever. And it does hold a DSLR camera. That's what my husband told me. So just in case I decide to use my DSLR uh, for filming, then that's um, an option as well. All right, so the webcam, since I'm right here, it is a Logitech. I can't recall the exact model number, but I absolutely love it. It's easy to use. You can flip it around and all that sort of thing, and it works pretty good for the price, I think. Can't complain. All right, so I just hook it up to my laptop, and then again, it's straight over my work surface here. Same thing with my camera, and I'll get into the camera that I use uh, in just a minute, but that is that. And before I get into my camera, I did want to show you guys my microphone. Let me grab it really quickly. So this is the microphone that I use when I do voiceovers. And the main reason why I have a external microphone is my old laptop the microphone died on it and I really wanted to get back into doing voiceovers this was a few years back and well a couple years I think and um, I found this Rode mic it was a pretty good deal I couldn't pass it up um, it was still pretty expensive so it is it is a investment but at the time I was uh, doing other things I was doing photography and things like that so I was able to purchase that um, the microphone and I absolutely love it. It's very easy to use, um, and I think that it has pretty good sound when I remember to get the uh, the settings right. But yeah, so that's the the Rode mic. And again, I will have it uh, linked in the in the description box for you guys. Uh, and I'm just going to bend down really quickly. Uh, this right here, actually, I have my phone on here sometimes when I'm streaming. Let me darken this just a tad and you can get one of these for a uh, like an iPad or something a little bit larger one but I just have my phone where I don't know where my phone is right this second but I just put my phone here and so I can read the comments um, and it's really handy to use you can move it just like this um, and I think that was about 20 bucks so it's really nice to have um, and you can also use this. I think I used it when I did my um, live on Instagram. So I just put it there and it was nice to have right there. All right, before I get into the camera I use to film, this is my DSLR that I use to take photos. So I have a Canon 60D, which I absolutely love. And I have a Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens and again I absolutely love it this is a lens that stays on here 95% um, of the time unless I take it on a trip and then I'll I will switch out my lens to um, my 70 to 200 lens which I absolutely love as well but definitely not for um, project photos um, but anyways this is definitely um, something that is definitely not necessary um, but like I said I did photography for a little bit um, I took pictures of newborns and families so I um, that's why I have something like this um, alright so the camera that I use is to film is a Canon G7X Mark II and I'm going to tell you the reasons why I like it and then I'll tell you why I don't recommend it for overhead um, filming for tutorials and um, process videos and things like that. All right, I love it because it is it's smaller, it's lightweight, the screen flips up so I can see what I'm doing. Um, what else? Why do I love it? The picture is great. The sound is pretty decent for a, a point and shoot. Um, it was a little bit pricey. I think it was, I think when we paid for it, it was about $800. So um, it is definitely a little bit higher priced. 
uh, but we got it because we were going to Disneyland and we wanted something to um, take with us and um, we went a few years before the last time that we went and I took my DSLR and it was just a pain to lug around um, and stuff so um, we definitely wanted something that um, would take good pictures and good videos and um, this was the one that won that we really liked. I tried a uh, Nikon out. I can't remember the, what it was, but the pictures were horrendous. Um, I'm definitely a, a picture snob. When you have a very nice DSLR and you know how to use it, uh, you kind of are picky with the photos. So um, the photos are pretty decent with this point and shoot. And let's see. Uh, so yeah, it's very nice. Uh, photo quality, video quality, sound quality, uh, but the reason why I don't recommend it for uh, like tutorials, crafting videos, that type of thing, because it has a timer on the, on in it, programmed in it, um, where it shuts off every 25 minutes, so you can't change that. It just doesn't. I think it's because uh, it might overheat, maybe. So if you're looking to spend uh, money on a camera and especially that much money. I would definitely recommend a Canon or um, I don't know a what other uh, brands is there of uh, Video cameras Canon is what I use so that's why I just continue to say Canon so um, I know Canon has lots of very decent video cameras and that's yeah so that's why I would not recommend this camera um, unless you are wanting it for other things like I do so we take it camping take it to the zoo take it to San Diego all that all that all of that sort of thing so it's kind of like a all-in-one sort of camera for us but if you're wanting one specifically just for filming crafting videos, crafting tutorials, how-to videos, that sort of thing, then I would definitely recommend a video camera. Alright, so I am just going to back up again, and I am, again, sorry for my voice. I'm very tired, but I did, I wanted this video to be out today, which is Friday the, what's today, the 15th? Uh, but it just didn't end up happening so hopefully it will go up tomorrow if I don't fall asleep editing it um, and I hope that I remembered everything oh the software that I use to edit my videos uh, that is definitely something that I get asked all the time as well and I use uh, Filmora and I absolutely love it I believe it's 60 or 70 dollars for the lifetime um, purchase and you only have to purchase it once and I believe you have two times to recover it so say your laptop dies or something or your computer dies you can recover it I believe up to two times um, and so that's really nice um, it works perfectly for um, what I like to do which is uh, pretty simple I um, put my videos in the software I uh, chop them up however I need them to be. I speed it up a little bit and I export it. It's super simple to use uh, once you get your workflow going and um, I definitely would recommend it. All right, so here is one last look at my setup. This is where I film my videos. And most of the time I take photos here. So I have like these whiteboards that I just put in front of the um, window. Uh, if you aren't following me on Instagram, I post sometimes when I remember. I'm very bad sometimes, and then sometimes I overpost. So um, you can definitely see over on Instagram. I I think I shared it on Instagram a uh, behind the scenes of how I take photos of my projects. If you have a video idea for me that isn't really crafty related, let me know, and I will definitely try to get it done for you guys. I know I have done lots of how to start a YouTube channel, um, all of that sort of thing in the past, but there's so much, so much has changed. So I really, truly, from the bottom of my heart, 
love helping you guys i am here to support you guys just like you guys support me so ask away and i will try to get it done for you guys uh if you haven't done so already please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you are new to my channel and you like crafting videos mixed media videos please hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, bell notification so you're notified every time that i upload and every time that i go live and I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!